So what is going on everybody it's your boy Jay Crew and welcome back to some more NBA 2K19 My League Rebuilds. We're here today with the Dallas Mavericks guys. Now I've never done a Dallas Mavericks rebuild. I had to start doing it now because this team is pretty solid right now. I think they're 15 and 12 at the moment. Currently I think 6th or 7th in the West and uh, yeah it's a team that I'm really curious about because they're on the brink of either being a solid playoff team. They're not for sure making like a conference final or anything like that. But they're between making a um, making the playoffs and you know maybe upsetting someone first round, or not being too well like not being too good at all and uh, just missing the playoffs. But with Luka Doncic now, when they drafted this guy, he is absolutely beasting and feasting, and I know I'm pretty sure he's going to be rookie of the year. There's no questions about it. He's the only rookie so far that's just acted like he's been in this league for 20 freaking years, man. This guy hitting buzzer step back threes, he does it all. And uh, I'm probably going to build around him and Dennis Smith. These are my untouchables. I got Luka Doncic, Dennis Smith, and then Dirk, of course. He's probably going to retire after the first year anyways. But for my trading block, I got DJ, Harrison Barnes, Wesley Mas Matthews, Dwight Powell, and then Ryan Bria Brock. I'm not even going to try to say it. But uh, this is the lineup heading into the first year. We got Dennis Smith, Luka, Harrison Barnes, Dirk Nowitzki, DeAndre Jordan, Wesley Matthews. JJ Barea, Majiri, and Dwight Powell. So we're going to probably make some moves at the trade deadline. Now I'm going to set my system proficiency to balance because that's what Rick Carlisle likes. And I'm probably going to end up keeping Rick Carlisle on as head coach because he is a pretty solid coach. And I don't see why we shouldn't. Now right here, I messed up a bit. I just want to look at this trade because I am trying to get rid of Harrison Barnes just for his contract because he's on a one year. Or, or Wesley Matthews because his contract is horrible. I didn't even mean to say yes here. I declined it and it came back up and I quickly hit X and there you have it bro. I accidentally made that trade for Wesley John, uh, Wesley Matthews and now we have Marcus Smart. He is on a one year deal so it didn't really affect the team too much but it kind of sucks because I wanted to see how the Dallas team could do with just this actual Dallas Mavericks team but you guys see at the trade deadline we're 22 and 31 not doing too good not looking like we're going to be a playoff team at the moment so I decided to go ahead and move on some of these trades because it's it's gonna help us and we look like, bro we're 11 15 at home like we just got to do better so i decided to go ahead and trade marcus smart and a second round pick for john collins here to atlanta great young power forward think he's good he can fit almost any team and he, they almost always want to trade him in 2k now another player was deandre jordan now since he's on a one-year deal he's gonna he's expiring contract i want to trade him before you know someone tries to scoop him up in free agency so we traded him for Rudy Gobert there. And then Harrison Barnes. Now he's doing pretty good in the first season for us. And I want to look at his potential. It's an 83. He's two away. But uh, he's got a player option next year. That's the only reason I really had him on the block. Because Harrison Barnes is still pretty solid. You guys saw though. I just traded Dwight Powell for Yogi Ferrell. Just for, you know, dumping that salary. And then Aaron Baines who was a part of that Marcus Smart deal. We traded for Boban the Giant. So... Yeah, those are the changes we made. We're not in full tank mode yet, but we, we just made moves to set us up for free agency this summer. Giannis Antetokounmpo, though, wins MVP. Luka Doncic wins Rookie of the Year, 20 points a game, 6 rebounds, 7 and assists, um, 1.1 steals, shot 44% and 75 from the free throw and 36% from 3. Not too bad. Dennis Schroeder, Giannis Antetokounmpo, again, defensive player. Blake Griffin wins most approved in Detroit, and then of course Steve Kerr with Coach of the Year. Now for the all-time teams, or not all-time teams, all NBA teams, we only had Rudy Gobert, and he's injured, torn right MCL. He's gonna be out six to eight weeks. I don't think we made the playoffs, but you guys see he averaged 11 and 11 with 2.2 blocks, which is what he does. I'm happy with it. I'm not even too sad that we didn't make the playoffs, but uh. What can I say, man? Dallas. I, like I said, they're, they're they're teetering. I don't know if they're going to be a playoff team or if they're just going to miss it because the West is pretty damn stacked. But looking at our stats for the first season, Dennis Smith was right behind Doncic with 17 points a game. Harrison Barnes was there with 14. JJ Barrett, 12. Pretty solid scoring from everyone. Even Boban had 9 points and Yogi Ferrell. So looking at the rebounding leader, of course, it was Rudy Gobert. Doncic led us in assist and steals and then Gobert with blocks a game. So we didn't make the playoffs at all. I'm no surprise there. We're going to just see who wins. Probably going to be Raptors. Oh, shoot. The Warriors lost in the first round. 
Raptors Thunder and the Raptors win in a clean sweep. So Kawhi Leonard at Finals MVP. 2K loves this team anyway, so no surprise there. Heading into season number two, we're going to end up keeping Rick Carlisle, like I said. Even though we had a 35 and 47 record, I still think 2K is dissing Rick Carlisle for his coaching ability. So I, I decided to keep him. Now, we also want to go after the second pick in the draft. We're not going to give up Doncic, of course, but we're going to try and finesse these Suns with Gobert and maybe a couple first round picks. We give them a second there. I'm going to give him another first. Still doesn't want it. Probably going to have to throw in a set, another first round pick to get these guys to budge. Oh, there we go. We just took out a pick from then and we ended up getting the second pick. You guys saw there, Zion Williamson went number one. And now there's no questions asked about it. For this year's draft, it's Zion and RJ Barrett. So we decided to go ahead and pick up RJ Barrett. He is going to fit our team, especially if we try to trade Harrison Barnes. Because like I said, he's on that player option. And he does accept, so that's 25 millions on the book. So I don't know. He's, he's on his last year now officially. We might try to trade him. We'll have to just wait and see. But we brought back John Collins and Dennis Smith. And now free agency, where we have actually a lot of cap room. I decided to go after Demarcus Cousins, just because he wasn't getting a five-year deal. And then maybe I'll maybe I'll offer Vucevic. We need a center. That's all it is really right now. Because now that we lost DJ or traded DJ, I don't really. You know, I don't want Gobert to be our franchise center or anything like that. So we offered DeMarcus Cousins, Jimmy Butler, and Vucevic in the first day of free agency. We did end up getting all of them, but we don't have enough cap space to get all of them. We actually did have enough to get Jimmy Butler, but I think after um, the first three days, the moratorium, he just didn't accept it. So I, you guys see I offered them there. Jimmy Butler's back on the block here, and then we try to offer him some money. We just, I think we just didn't have enough cap space to bring him in on that max deal so we offer him a four year 84 million he declines it that's okay now we had 17 mil left where i decided to throw at julius randall because he's a great young player out of kentucky he used to play for the lakers man he's doing pretty solid in new orleans right now so why not go ahead we threw him a two-year team option deal so at least we can you know make some moves with him and we control his destiny after the, the second year so looking at player progression don chick and Dennis Smith both went up four and three. Our young guys are actually moving up. Julius doesn't look too happy. Ray Spalding went up six, which is the biggest progression of the year so far. And uh, the other free agents that we picked up was Corey Joseph on a two-year deal. Another great young point guard, solid defense, can play great playmaking point guard ability. Julius Randle, of course, you guys already know, uh, two-year deal with the team option. He averaged 22 points a game and 11 rebounds last year. So this will be a lot. Oh, no, that's that was per 36. He averaged 19 and 9 last year, which is solid. And uh, DeMarcus Cousins, of course, we signed him to a four year deal. Definitely going to be someone we're going to keep around for the foreseeable future. But let's head into season number two. This is the line of Dennis Smith, Luka Doncic, RJ Barrett's going to start. John Collins, DeMarcus Cousins, Julius Randle, Harrison Barnes, Boban still here. Corey Joseph and that's gonna be the rotation so at the trade deadline for year number two we are doing a little bit better we are 35 and 21 so instead of trying to trade away players like good players we're gonna to try to use some of our talent to maybe bring in one extra player just to make our team a little bit better now we are 21 and 8 at home there I decided to try to move Harrison Barnes just because he is an expiring contract and before he just leaves us in free agency, I decided I want to try to get as much as I can get for him. So we saw this trade here for Drew, Drew Holiday from the Pelicans. And now we get Drew Holiday off the bench. So Giannis wins back-to-back -back MVPs here. Zion Williamson wins Rookie of the Year. I don't really care about it too much because I know RJ Barrett still did okay. It's not like, you know, if you win Rookie of the Year, you lost the draft. That's definitely not it at all. Giannis wins another defensive player in MVP year. Jamal Murray with most improved and Brett Brown for Philly with coach of the year. So for all NBA teams, we do not have anybody. Oh no, we have RJ Barrett, all rookie first team. He was right behind Zion. He averaged 15 points a game, five rebounds, five or six assists, basically. Pretty good year. That's going to turn to 17, six and six. I love it. He's only in 82 in his first or his second year. So we actually did make the playoffs though. Finally. All the moves we made, DeMarcus Cousins, Barrett, and Julius Randle really pushed us over the top. Before we get into the playoffs, though, let's look at the stats. 
DeMarcus Cousins had 18 points a game, 10 rebounds. Luka Doncic led us in points, of course. Then there's Dennis Smith there with 15 points a game. RJ Barrett had 50 points a game. Drew Holiday did solid 13 points. Julius Randle 13 points. And then John Collins and Boban. Pretty damn good stats for everyone. You guys see DeMarcus Cousins led us in rebounds. Doncic in assist. And Drew Holiday in steals. And then Cousins again for blocks. So first round of the playoffs, we are facing the Houston Rockets here. Chris Paul, Harden, and Joe Ingles. Who actually got traded in last season, bro. Seven points a game. Not really a factor for this team, I guess. He's not really meshing in. But other than that, the team is not good. That's the same thing in real life, man. The, the Rockets are struggling, bro. I I, I don't feel bad because I'm a Laker fan. But, you know, you would think they would not just fall off from what they did last year. But we end up winning in Game 7 there, heading into the second round. Facing Denver, the second seed. They got Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will Barton, Paul Millsap. Now... Denver is one of those teams, bro. They're, they're like built like the Celtics, man. They just have so many solid players, bro. Like above tier solid players. Their bench is pretty solid. It's going to be a little, little bit of a test. Hopefully, we don't get bounced by these guys. They did win 55 games this season. So it's going to be a tough team. We win game one, though. 122 to 110. Jamal Murray had 29 points. RJ Barrett leading us with 32 there. Game number two. They end up coming back with another W, 129-98. Oh my god, bro. Four players, 20 plus points. That's what I'm saying, man. This damn Denver team is really good. DeMarcus Cousins had 22-11. and 11. They're one of those teams where anybody can go off any night. And it's not like maybe, like, at least guarantee two of those players are going to go off on the night. So it's, it's a scary team. We go up 3-1, though. Looking good. Oh my god, come on. We got to close this out. They come back from a 3-1 freaking lead. And now we're going into game seven here. They're on their home court. We got, oh my God, we got to win this. Come on. Oh my God. So we end up losing in game seven. Definitely bittersweet because we made the playoffs and we didn't make it last year. So oh, we lost to a second seed. So it's not like it's an upset. And it's a Lakers Celtics finals and the Celtics win. F the Celtics, bro. I just have to throw it out there. I'm sorry. I had to. But Kyrie wins finals MVP, 27 points a game, not too bad. Heading into year number three now, pending options, we're going to bring back Doncic, Smith, Ray Spaulding, and someone else I didn't even get to see. And that's all we're going to do in free agency. This is our progression so far. Doncic and Smith both went up four, so now they're sitting at the 89 and the 86. RJ Barrett went up four. Drew Holiday doesn't seem to be too happy, so we might have to move on that. I don't know. He's 30 years old. He might just be regressing. And then... uh. Yeah, this is the only addition we made. John Henson, bro, out of the Bucks, Averaged 7 points a game in Cleveland last year. I guess he was there for two years. We got him on a three-year deal. So at least, you know, he's young. He can probably develop or we can just trade him off and uh, get some, you know, some assets from that. Year number three, the lineup is looking pretty similar. Dennis Smith, Doncic, Barrett, Collins, DeMarcus Cousins, Julius Randle, and then... Oh, I didn't even update you. Oh, yeah, we did trade Harrison Barnes. So, Drew Holiday is going to be there. John Henson and Corey Joseph. So, team hasn't really changed other than John Henson. And this is where things started to get a little scary, bro. Our team absolutely started killing it. We go on, I, I believe it was a 20-game win streak. I don't know if you guys want to pause and look. But this was a huge win streak. When I was watching this, I'm like, this, we made it, bro. At the trade deadline, we're 44-10. and 10, Number one seed in the West. And there's no turning back. We may try to trade someone here. Or we don't really have to. But we'll have to just, you know, we got to ride this wave, bro. We decided, though, Drew Holiday, we're going to re-sign him, bro. Because he's 30 years old. Coming into, you know, that stretch. He's hit, he's hit his potential already. This year, he averaged 10 points a game. But uh, I still want to have assets. You know, I, I still want to have people just in case if i want to sell them next year if we do another season why not you know go ahead and re-sign them to a two-year deal and then we'll throw in a team option just so we can have a little bit of control for that trade deadline there Giannis Antetokounmpo wins three mvps in a row now Vernon Carey with the rookie of the year that Giannis bro he won defensive player of the year <laughs> this guy won mvp and defensive player three times in a row like, what the hell is that? 
Rick Carlisle though. Coach of the year. I told you guys. I knew it was a risk keeping him with that D plus offense. But look, he came out with a freaking coach of the year. Looking at the stats though, Doncic led us again, 21 points a game, 7 assists. Dennis Smith was right behind him, who's down 9 at 89, average 20 points a game. RJ Barrett was 17, Cousins was 17, Julius Randle with 14, and then John Collins and Drew Holiday with 9. So for rebounds, of course, Demarcus Cousins led us in rebounds, 8.9, Doncic in assists, Cousins in steals, and then I believe Cousins in blocks. So Demarcus Cousins at 33. It's finally coming into his own. I just had to look at this Giannis card, bro. I, I I couldn't believe what I was seeing here. I called him a card too, like I'm playing my team. Three MVPs and three Defensive Player of the Year awards in a row. That's unspoken of. In the first round, though, we're facing Portland with a team that hasn't really changed much. They have Sharif O'Neal and Joe Harris. That's the only two additions I really can see making this a, you know, making this team even a threat. But I'm more than confident. With the 64 win team, I can't even look at these guys and, you know, acknowledge them. I gotta just move on. Round number two, we're facing OKC, who won only 43 games last year. They got Westbrook, Devon Hall, Paul George, Rodney Hollis, Jefferson, Jared Allen, who came from Brooklyn, I guess. And, uh, again, just another weak team that he's done. They got McCauley from the Lakers now. Uh, yeah, Darius Baisley. Team is not looking good. I'm confident we're going to simulate the round here again. And we beat them in six. Heading on to Houston, who we beat last year. Let's see. They just came off of beating the Lakers, too. Chris Paul, Harden, Joe Ingles. Yeah, it's the same. It looks like the same team. Marcus Thornton. Is that Mike Marcus Thornton's son or something? I don't know. Darius Miller, Zhao Chi, or Key. I, I just said Zhao Chi. I don't know. Just leave it alone. This team is, you know, not not a team that's going to beat us. I'm not even worried about it. We might be looking at our first NBA Finals here, guys. We simulate the round. We go up 3-1, 3-2, oh, 4-2. We beat them in 6, and we're facing Orlando in our first NBA Finals with this team. They have Jalen Leck, Chris Wilkes, Jonathan Isaac, Aaron Gordon, Mo Bamba, uh, Nikola Vucevic, Terrence Ross, Nerlens Noel, Evan Fournier. This is a solid team. They're pretty deep with their bench. But it's not like they have that standout star that can really just push them over the edge. So I'm not too worried. We're going to actually simulate game by game. I was going to simulate the round there. But I decided, you know, it's the finals. We got to see how this plays out. We go up 2-1 though. 2-2. Two, two, it's a close series. And we're going to start simcasting this, man. We got to just see how this team is playing. We're at home. And we lose by one. I for sure thought we had that game. We lose by one. Doncic had 21. Julius Randle with 18 and 13. And we still ended up losing that game. Jalen Leck and Vucevic both with 22 points. So now we're on the brink of elimination here on the road. And look at what happens, man. We got blown out. Absolutely blown out in the finals. 18 points for Doncic. I don't know where DeMarcus Cousins is at, but the Orlando Magic upset. The Dallas Mavericks, we were for sure the favorite. I'm pretty sure we had the best record in the league. Vucevic wins a finals MVP. That's crazy. Heading into year number four, though. This is where, it, you know, I, I'm pretty much going to end it after this, no matter what happens. You guys see there, the pending options. We're bringing back our two young guys, Julius Randle and then Ray Spalding. And I also decided to throw the max contract at Dennis Smith because he is developing into a great player. And I don't want to wait for, you know, anybody to offer him something too crazy. So right now, we're just waiting on John Conti as a restricted free agent. I want to see if anyone offered him anything. And the Spurs are offering him a four-year deal. Actually, I think he declined it. What, what's going on there? We're going to just give Oh, no. Oh, he, there we go. So he's about to get a, an offer there. Four years, 108 mil. I didn't want to really match this. But I thought, you know, it's the last season. He's an 85 now. Well, I can't just let a player like that slide. He's is he's still like under 25 years old. So I didn't want to let go of him. The team is looking pretty similar. This team is all about development, bro. That Ray Spalding guy started off as like a 60-something. Player progression. Doncic is now a 92. He has surpassed DeMarcus Cousins. Dennis Smith is a 90. He went up four this season. Barrett went up five. Drew Holiday's still regressing. 
which is okay because we don't really need him to, pr pr to produce at that level. But guys, we only picked up Shelvin Mack as a backup point. Like, Shelvin Mack isn't nothing. I don't even know why I'm showing you this. Two-year deal. He's very expendable. And then Dennis Smith, of course, we made the move with that five-year deal. He's our staple. Him and Doncic are definitely the guys we're going to be building around. So I decided to throw that money at him. We want to trade here Matthew Della the Dova and a first round pitch just so we can add in some more players so we don't get upset in the finals. We're going to bring in Vince Hunter. I don't even know. This guy's undrafted. He's four years pro now in Cleveland. I don't know if he's a real person or not, but why not? You guys see it though. The moment has happened. RJ Barrett has won MVP for us. 22 points a game, 6 rebounds, 7.5 assists. 1.2 steals, he shot 56% from the field, 65% from free throw, which is not too good, and then 46% from three-point land. Keon Brooks there with the Rookie of the Year, Ja Morant, six man. Giannis wins his fourth straight defensive player. Louis King with most improved, and then Mike Malone as Coach of the Year in Toronto, so I guess Nick Nurse didn't really work out for them. But you guys see it here, all NBA first team, RJ Barrett. I'm shocked that he won an MVP before Doncic or Dennis Smith, so it's definitely a good reason, or it's definitely satisfying to see that we made the right choice here instead of picking Zion, even though we didn't even have a shot. But you guys see three players, and they're all young, average 20 points a game on this team, 20 points plus. Like if if we lose to the final in the finals to any team with this team, bro, I'm I'm gonna be pissed. You see, Demarcus Cousins, of course, leading us in rebounds. Barrett led us in assists this year. Demarcus in blocks and steals. I'm not even going to look at these guys. Portland again. Get the f out of here, my guy. Utah. Who do you guys have? Let's see. Donovan Mitchell. Jalen Green. Bro, no. Just, no, just stop. Stop, please. Like, you guys have a bunch of low 80s and Donovan Mitchell. You think you're going to beat this team? You think that's enough? I'm, sa you're sadly mistaken. Even though it's a 3-2, 4-2 series, we're heading into this with all the confidence. We're facing the Rockets now. This team hasn't changed. Paul, he's really regressing. He's in 84 now. He's getting up there. I think he's 36 at this point. Clint Capella's still there. Patrick Beverly got added. But this bench, I don't know what is going on there in the Rockets land, but they just can't make any moves. They can't make any smart moves. They need me as a GM to push them in the right direction. But we are facing the Sixers here in round one. I don't even think I got to show you guys the roster. I don't know why that's not even in there. But we're going to roll with it. Long story short, though, they have Kevin Durant, bro. I'm going to say it now. They have KD. I'm kind of cheesed I didn't get to show you guys that. I don't know why that's not edited in there. But I don't want to stop this live commentary. Luka Doncic, though. 24 points a game. John Collins with 21. And RJ Barrett with 20. There's KD, if you guys didn't believe me. And I believe they also have Shy Gilgis Alexander, or was that Nikel? I don't know who it was. But we're simcasting all these games because I don't want to take a chance here. Barrett with 26, KD with 25, and it's a 3 0 series here in the NBA Finals. We're about to sweep this Kevin Durant Sixers team. Mind you, these guys have KD, they still have Simmons, and they still have Embiid with Markel Fultz, who's actually, I think, an 86 at this point. But we're going to win this easily, bro. We're going to sweep these guys. I want to jump in just so we can get some gameplay. And the relief is true right now. We finally got the dub. Doncic pulling up for three. No care in the world. Look at the score, guys. I wonder if I can even point. Look, Corey Joseph is on this team, bro. You never should have left. There's Markel Foltz. I, I guess they don't really have their starters in right now. But we end up winning the 2022 NBA championship guys finally this young core brought us to this point Doncic and Dennis Smith are definitely a dynasty in itself they better try to hold on to those guys I mean I don't know about getting Julius Randle and DeMarcus Cousins maybe Cousins might come over but I don't think they'll have the second pick in the draft so it's a little unrealistic but at the same time this is just a rebuild for fun we want to get a championship for these guys now you guys can look at the team here they do have shy gilgis alexander also added this team simmons and Embiid were a no-show in these this last game here donchick had 26 7 and 4 dennis smith had 20 and 9 17 10 and 6 for rj barrett and he has an injury 
playing in this game and then Drew Holiday is just coming off of an injury. Guys, we made it. We absolutely made it. This is going to be the lineup at the end of it. Luka Doncic, now a 94. Just, he did everything from the beginning to end. 20 points a game to end this one out. 22 points a game for RJ Barrett in the last season. He's a 92. I think we have four 90s, bro. DeMarcus Cousins, 92. 17 and 9 a game for the last season. And then Dennis Smith, who's a 92. 22 points a game and 6 assists. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next. I might even throw in a Madden Rebel suit. We'll have to just wait and see. But leave a comment, hit that like button, and hit that sub button. And make sure to hit that noti bell. I will see y'all in the next one. Red bottom kids, I feel like stomping in hell. Get it. Oh, oh, million grits, I mean, come on, fish in hell. Uh -huh. New space, cool, feel like I'm washing in hell. Yeah. Fuck a protest, I start a march pit. Yeah. Red bottom kids, I feel like stomping in hell. Get it. Oh, oh, million grits, I mean, come on,